Hello everybody, it's Kai. Welcome back to my channel and welcome, welcome back to a brand new speed build video. And in today's video, we are going to be building a countryside family home in the world of Windenburg, which is the world that came with the get together pack. And I hope you really like this one because I really enjoyed building this build. And I got inspired by a lot of posts on Pinterest that I saw. And basically on the post itself, there were a lot of houses or like English cottages, I think is this style. I'm not so sure, but it was that kind of vibe with a lot of overgrown bushes and also some red veins crawling up on the walls of the builds in the Pinterest post. So I decided to take some inspiration from that and then apply it to this build. So I really hope you guys will like this one. I really love the outcome of this one, especially because of all the landscaping. But for the landscaping, I can say that the landscaping doesn't really have a lot of like different bushes it's just like the repeated bushes that i use from the i think island living pack and also jungle adventure pack and some base game debug items so you will see that throughout the whole landscaping part of the build i don't think i will be showing the landscaping for this build in this video but when i landscaped it it took me a lot of time because i wanted to make sure that the landscaping looked really good so i did that off camera and didn't record it and also because I think it will take a lot of time, especially in this video, which is quite long. I think in my opinion, it's 17 minutes long in total. But if I were to do the landscaping for this video, it would take up maybe more than 20 minutes. So I didn't really want to waste time on that. Instead, I just showed the landscaping that I did in the screenshot. So I really hope you guys don't mind that. If you want me to do some tutorials on landscaping, feel free to ask me to do so. I have a lot of free time anyways, other than working. <laughs> but anyways, you can see that we are working on the structure of the house. And as you can see for the structure of the house, it's separated into two parts. So basically the one you see on the right side, which is the main building is the main home. And the one on the left side, which is the small building, I will be adding a section of that building later on, I think. Um, and that will be the guest house of this build. And I figured that I should include a guest house because I wanted to fully use the lot. And as you can see, it is quite a big lot. I think it is a 40 by 30 lot. So I guess in my head, I was like trying to figure out what to put other than the main house. So I included a guest house instead. But unfortunately, I didn't manage to furnish the guest house because I wanted to make the focus of this video based on the main house which is the family home so the guest house will be unfurnished if you download this and when you download this be sure to enable move objects cheat on before placing the build to ensure that no items go missing or anything um but i think yeah i i won't be furnishing the guest house in this video but if you want to download this house and if you do and if you want to furnish the guest house please feel free to do so because I kept it empty, like I said, just because I wanted to focus this video, make the focus of this video to the main house, which is the family home. But anyways, for the number of packs, I think for this build, I used, uh, I'm not so sure how many in total, but my main focus of the packs that I used were Discovery University and also Get Together pack because I believe those two packs are quite similar to one another and they are also quite suitable for the world that we are building in today which is Windenburg so yeah I guess that is why I used the Discovery University pack and also the get together pack and yeah so I really hope you guys will like this video if you want to download this house it is already up in the gallery under my ID which is Simmerkai and I'm not so sure if you have trouble accessing my ID because quite a number of people have said to me that they didn't find or they couldn't find my ID on the gallery. So if you have such problems, please let me know. I will look into it if I can and maybe try to solve it if I can. But I'm pretty sure it works because ever since I changed my gallery ID from High Side Guide to Simmer Kai, everything works perfectly fine. So I didn't have any issues accessing the gallery, but maybe it's because I'm accessing my own account. So if you have any trouble accessing my gallery, which is the Simmer Kai one, please let me know in the comments. That would help me so much and I can just figure out what to do with it. If there is a problem, I think the only thing I can do is contact the EA for this. But I'm not too sure. But yeah, anyways, we are moving on to the interior right now. And the interior consists of 
three bedrooms upstairs which belongs to a family consisting of two parents and also their three children and two of the children are twins so you will see that in this video i will put a bunk bed in one of the rooms and also a separate bed for the other room for the kids and for the color scheme of the whole concept I didn't really have a color scheme in mind, I just wanted to make sure that everything looked super cozy and very family-like. So the colors I didn't really focus on, but I did focus on the like concept of this home. Basically, I imagine that this home belongs to a family, like I said just now, which belongs to a family of a couple of parents and their three children. And they have this countryside home, but for the inside, it is not as traditional as the exterior. Uh, in terms of the concept so you will see that for the interior I will be adding a lot of like suburban related items so I really hope you guys don't mind that too um, and uh, this is the kitchen that we are furnishing right now and for the kitchen I wanted to make sure that it really looks cozy as a family home so I ended up adding that plate over there on top of the fridge just now coupled with a cookbook series from the cool kitchen stuff pack and I also managed to use the country kitchen kit items that I place in the corner over there. I really don't know why I tend to like place like items on corner counters if that makes sense. Um, I just find it like like into my comfort zone for some reason. I'm not so sure if you guys do that but I usually like put items or clutter items on the corner part of the counters just to fill things up and I for me like when I view it like without any clutter item on it it would look super awkward and just give me anxiety for some reason but yeah I think that is like one of my things I tend to do for building in the sims um, to make sure that it is in my comfort zone so if you have any ideas for what I can do with putting stuff in the corner of kitchen counters please let me know I look forward to your ideas if you have any and yeah so over here is going to be the dining room of the house and the dining room is pretty simple I basically use the set of tables and chairs from the seasons pack which I rarely use in my builds and I figured that the design of the tables and chairs suited perfectly for this type of countryside home it doesn't look too modern but it looks kind of more like family-ish oriented or something like that and it looks super cozy too so i decided to just go with that because i've never used it as well as because it is a peaceful and cozy vibe going on there but over here for this section is going to be the living room and the living room consists of this modern quote-unquote wall that I wanted to put in simply because I figured that it looks better that way um, so I ended up adding a fireplace in front of it and I really like the design of the fireplace because it looks very traditional but you can apply it anywhere with the theme of the build you have so for example for the fireplace it is a traditional design but the interior of this house is quite urban I would say so it it I think it fits perfectly with the urban concept even though the design is traditional but it really looks nice in my opinion but I do end up using these couches and arm sofas from the Discover University pack which I rarely use as well I thought that the design of the couches look very very nice for this type of house simply because it looks kind of traditional as well but I really like the couches that came with the Discover University pack that I used over here because it really looks cozy to me even though there aren't any like fluff pillows on there like you have them like in the paranormal stuff pack couches and other stuff like the cats and dogs couch even though they don't have those pillows over there I think it really looks nice and I also switched the swatches for the armchairs in which I use a blue color instead of a white color because I figured that it would add more color to the living room over here which is quite plain and simple but I did end up adding a side table over on the corner next to the armchair from the cats and dogs just now in a little bit um, just to fill up the space and over here um, the house also has a study room over here which is quite simple as well the furniture I use is like very traditional looking and I wanted to stick to that like kind of concept the traditional concept but at the same time applying like urban stuff or items into this build 
but i really hope you guys will like this one because i definitely enjoyed furnishing this build even though it took me like three days because i'm busy working um i really enjoyed it and i eventually found time to like play the sims properly um and i've been actually been super busy with work uh but i think my consistency of uploading is the same as before i worked so yeah I guess that's a good thing in a way um but i really hope to produce more content for you guys and produce more builds and stuff like that and make you guys the happiest people on earth when it comes to playing the sims and downloading my build so if you like my build so far i really want to thank you for that because i when i started doing this channel and playing sims i didn't really expect like for me to be like good at it up to that point where people really like my builds but when i hear that people like my builds like they come to me and say like wow i really love your builds and like i even got some requests to do like for example the boho apartment um back last week a few weeks ago i'm not so sure but yeah i'm really surprised with the reaction of people and i'm really thankful for that so thank you for all of those who have been with me throughout my journey doing builds on the youtube channel and also in the sims so I really appreciate very much but anyways we are moving on to the top floor of the build which is the bedrooms of the parents and also the children um, and we are starting off with the master bedroom i ended up adding an ensuite in here and i didn't think i could squeeze in one but fortunately i did include an ensuite so i'm really happy about that but i will be ended up changing this fireplace with a normal side table because I wanted to include a wardrobe well it's not a side table it's a wardrobe the drawer thing <laughs> i wanted to include a drawer for each of the rooms so i ended up doing so and i removed the fireplace since we already have a fireplace on the bottom floor i figured that i should just include a drawer instead of a fireplace but i think if the room was bigger and like more grand in the build I think I will be adding a fireplace in a room but that will be for future builds I think because I rarely like I rarely build like big builds like I rarely build like big builds like mansion and stuff because I don't know it's just very tedious and a long process and like I'm not really good at talking when it comes to like doing voiceovers for speed builds so I think that if I were to do a big build like a massive mansion or something i don't think i will include a voiceover because i tend to also get very tired easily from talking and it really dries out my throat um but yeah if you have any suggestions on what big builds i should do please feel free to do so but just note that i don't think i will be doing a voiceover for any big builds because i don't know maybe a short one but not the full video but anyways we are moving on to the bedrooms of the children and the first bedroom of the children belongs to a teenager i imagine and the color scheme of the bedroom or her or his favorite color is blue and white so i ended up like furnishing the bedroom based on the bed that i picked out and initially i didn't really know like what kind of like furniture to include or what personality of the um teenager should have so i imagine that maybe they are very like soft in the inside um but it doesn't matter which gender they are i just like to furnish it like a normal teenager's bedroom <laughs> but i think we will move on to the bedroom for the twins right now and the twins bedroom i imagine are basically they are little boys and they really like to play games video games especially so in this bedroom i will end up adding a like like tv table tv stand with a small tv or monitor and also a console from the city living pack um and i imagine they are just very into gaming and they just like to play games and stuff like that um, but they are also like preteens, so they are not teens, but they are also not like little children. Um, so yeah, they just like to play games all around and just have a few toys here and there. They are also not too spoiled by their parents, so there is minimal like toys in here, but there will be like I added some like posters here and there. And this area is going to be the common bathroom for the upstairs area, which is not the ensuite, I think. Yes, it is not the ensuite, and it is the bathroom that is shared between the siblings. And for the bathroom, I just pretty much kept it simple and 
basically consistent with the other bathrooms in this house but anyways moving on to the final part of the build which is outside i did end up adding a swing and also a umbrella table and a like horseshoe playing game from the outdoor adventure pack but unfortunately we have reached the end of the video so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and comment if you want to and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye